President Sister Lund, I was so touched, President, by a, a talk you gave in which you, you mentioned your son Tanner, uh, who has since passed. And I, it was so beautiful as he was going through uh, cancer and as he was towards the end of his life, um, he went to church and he insisted on passing the sacrament. And uh, the words that you, that you shared that he said was because it helps people. I would love to just know, how do you instill something like that in such a strong young man who's going through something so difficult that recognizes I have a duty, I have a responsibility to help people? Tanner, I think he mentioned this in his talk, that he was either going to be the prophet or go to jail. <laughs> we, <laughs> we weren't sure. But he was just a passionate young man. And, but he always took his church responsibilities very seriously. And when he became ill, he really leaned in. And I think that that's where that comes from. And when you lean in hard, and then Heavenly Father blesses you, not necessarily that he blessed him with life, but he gave him comfort. Now, I remember once uh, he was in the hospital and he, he needed to do something very difficult. And he couldn't talk well. You know, he had sores just everywhere. Anyway, he just grabbed his dad's hands and just put them on his head, meaning, I need you to bless me. You know, he leaned in to what really you know, all the people of Jeremiah's time leaned into things that did not edify. They did not help, but Tanner leaned into the good things. And part of that is that he, I believe he, before he was born, he was somebody that Heavenly Father loved, just like he loves all of us. Thank you so much for, for sharing. Uh, President Lund, is there anything you want to add? Well, just this other piece that I, I'm not sure he learned that at home. Mm -hmm. He, uh, you know, what, what he said, and you, you ought to speak to this because he said it to you, was, was uh, you know, he was getting ready to go to church and I said, you don't need to go to church. And he said, no, I really do. It's my, uh, I'm, I'm supposed to pass sacrament day. Well, you don't need to pass sacrament today. You're really, really sick. And, and, and what I understand that he said was, you know, when I pass the sacrament, I look around and I see how people look at me. Yeah. I think it helps them. Yeah. I think it helps them to see. And then you talk to our ward members and it was absolutely true, you know, today, People are very um, moved by what happened 20 years ago.